another Sunday, another gun day. I'm uh, back on the uh, pigeons over oil seed rape again. I did a bit of a recce last night and there were loads uh, feeding on this one field. So I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm on my own again because Tom's weirdly going lawnmower racing today. So he's not here. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll see what happens. Uh, last night I was rabbit shooting and I got within literally 15 yards of a rabbit and it was completely oblivious to me. Pulled the trigger and the four tenders went click because I'd taken the cartridge out to get over a fence previously and I didn't realise. Um, and of course as soon as I broke the gun they all ran away so I was very annoyed. Oh well, um, as I said hopefully it'll be, be a bit better today. We'll see what happens. Right then, I finally got set up. There's my horseshoe. And uh, there's the magnet. The wind's coming from that direction. So it's coming across me this time, so I'll have a bit more luck hopefully. Um, I set out the decoys at about 25 yards, but obviously as the arc grows, because again, you guys at Pigeon Watch said to make my uh, horseshoe bigger. It doesn't make it a bit closer than I'd, I'd hoped. There's my hide. Seems reasonable. But uh, I'm hoping I'll have a bit more luck today. I'll turn that on in a minute and we'll see what happens. Uh, interesting uh, first kill for the day. Magpie. Often don't get them in that close. In fact, it's the uh, it's only the second magpie I've actually shot with the, this shotgun. Um, but uh, yeah, knocked them down well with the Ely VIPs. So yeah, maybe things aren't so bad. <laughs> That's a bit better, isn't it? I really was beginning to think I wasn't going to get anything over that magpie today. It's still shit, but you know, it's better than nothing. I'm probably going to stay a bit later, so we'll see what happens. That's one of the annoying things about shooting. You saw that crow I just shot. Which is really pleasing because I called it in with the crow caller and it turned around and came in and I shot him. But he's in that hedge somewhere or he's in the bottom of this guy's orchard, but I don't think it, he is. Looking where he fell. Oh well, it's a pity because it would be nice to have a, another body for the ferrets, but that's where it goes, I guess. So then, yeah, I only got a magpie and a, a crow and, and this wood pigeon in the end. Didn't get the body back, but as I'm going to Tom's for a barbecue tonight, I thought I'd breast him, which isn't, isn't something I've done, so I'm interested to see what it comes out like. You must say they're very easy to pluck. Yeah. The feathers come out very easy. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I had a couple of beers with lunch then, Dad. <laughs> Hello? I had a couple of beers with lunch. They're me, indeed. Yeah, yeah I thought so. <laughs> Several. Yeah. Okay, right. But yeah, you're right, it does, it comes off really easily. Yeah. He didn't get too knocked about either. He was quite close up though, he was right in the centre of the, the decoy pattern. So it was uh, pretty textbook actually. Mm. Right then. This look about right? Shall I do a sexy for you? No, no. All the way down the sides, yeah. Right. But yeah, Tom did this and he didn't actually pluck it first. I thought it was probably a silly idea. Right. <laughs> and then the knife goes down the breast bone. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Just doing that. Yeah, I've All seen right. it done. Here's my good knife. Yeah. yeah. 
Don't press, just pull it across. That's it. Yeah, I see. Right the way down until you want it does gently, gently. Yeah, that's okay. To, until you hit the bone, that's right. Then down the front. I'll keep going, you can feel it. No. That's yeah, alright, just leave it, alright? I'm doing that's it. it. Right. <laughs> Yes, yeah. I'll just keep going through, not into the guts. Don't for let the knife cut. Move the knife along. No, yeah. Don't force the knife. There's one. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. It's a nice red neck, I think. And the other one. Don't press down, move it backwards and forwards. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. That's it. There you go. It's another breast. Oh. That's not too bad for a first attempt. I think I might have done this as a kid actually, but yeah, many, probably. many years ago. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, so now I have to relearn these things. Now, later on, um, I'm going to Tom's for a barbecue, so hopefully we're going to chop this up and uh, maybe kebab well, it, don't, something no, like that. Don't need to chop it up, just put it on a skewer and barbecue it. Well, we put it into pieces with peppers and. Oh, I see. Sort of thing, so yeah, um, as I said, just the, uh, the magpie and the uh, wood pigeon, and the crow, um, which I never found in the end. Um, it did go into that guy's garden, it seems, but apparently he's not bothered, so, you know, the farm said not to worry about it. Um, this one you just saw me butcher. Didn't do too bad, there's a little bit of meat left on it, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm hopefully going to barbecue that later on at Tom's, so if I get a chance, I'll get some footage of that as well, and I'll just tag it on the end or something. Um, as you can see with this pigeon, if you look, there's his croplet. That's rape that he's been eating. So, uh, yeah, anyway, my dad wants to feed uh, what's left of him to the ferrets, um, as well as the magpie. Um, the magpie's going to go to the hob, and the uh, woody's going to go to the jills. So, let's feed the ferrets. Hey girls, you can see they're going to be cursing me, saying, asking me where all the meat's gone. There you go, look. Check that out. <laughs> These poor ferrets going, where the hell are the breasts gone? <laughs> well, it makes it easy to eat, doesn't it? One sec. Oh, wait. Oh, she's always doing this lately. I hope you'll enjoy that. I don't know where the other jill is. Oh look, there's a nose. So she's, got, she's got something, one of those uh, collar doves, I think, from the other day. Right, here's Arthur. As I said before, he's been kept separate because he's not allowed to, well, he'll try and basically watch them. Here, Arthur. Check that out. Magpie, you won't get many of them. Those things were a nightmare to try and shoot. So, there we are. So yeah, I hope you liked the footage, what there was of it. Um, I didn't get a lot, but there's some quite good shots, I thought. So uh, yeah, as, and as I said, I might tag something on the end if we have this Barbie later. So uh, as I always say, like and subscribe. Oh, trust me, it's working there. There they are, cooking on the barbecue. The meat. Yeah, it's still not so good. It's a bit longer. We're all going to eat some of those. 
So Tom's about to eat the pigeon. There's pigeon meat. Mmm. Mmm, it's good meat. 